Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. And we have some good news for the people that had their cryptocurrency on Celsius. Not great news, but good news. It looks like you're going to be able to retrieve some of your funds that you had on the platform possibly by the end of the year. But before we get to that story, there was an even bigger story in cryptocurrency today. It just, it sent shockwaves through the entire community. Yes, I got a shout out on the Ben Armstrong channel. Oh my gosh, this was insane. I couldn't believe it. I really, I just couldn't believe it. I didn't watch it live because I had stuff going on that time of day. So I, you know, I was catching up on it a little later and I'm just sitting there. I wasn't watching. I was listening. And then I heard Ben talking about a lady who had made a video and she had referred to the fact that AJ, you know, was a, a good win for him because the ladies consider him eye candy. And I was like, hmm. Kind of sounds like something I said in one of my videos last night. And I look over and I see my mug all over Ben's channel. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't but big huge news. I listen, I know it's not big news compared to what's going on with Celsius and, and those poor creditors over there, but leave me alone. It, it was very big news for me. So getting back to the the Celsius thing, listen, at the time, Celsius seemed like such a great idea. It was a, a great investment vehicle for people that were just kind of holding their cryptocurrency in a wallet. And some of your coins just sitting there collecting dust. You were able to place them on Celsius and they would loan them out to somebody and they would repay the loan plus some interest. So you were able to generate some income on your cryptocurrency sounded great. Or if you wanted to make another investment somewhere else, instead of selling your crypto, you were able to use, use your crypto as collateral, take a loan, make your investment. This way, you got the investment and you didn't even have to sell your crypto. It seemed like a win-win for everybody. And it was a great idea. But it should be, you know, cautionary tale of not your keys, not your coins, right? It wasn't the average person who just got hurt, by the way. There was a lot of people, big investors who got hurt. Of course, Simon Dixon, even Ben himself turned out like BitBoy Crypto had $3 million sitting over there on Celsius. So they got burned as well. But it seemed like such a great idea until it just uh, wasn't. And Alex Mashinsky, who was the CEO at the time, was going around telling everybody that everything was fine. You know, he was just reassuring everybody that everything's okay over here. Like, there's no liquidity issues. You'll be able to pull your crypto off if you want. Well, it turns out all of that was BS. And he knew it because he was busy withdrawing his funds off of Celsius before they filed for bankruptcy. So I, I hate it when people do dirty things like that, right? So uh, he's out on $40 million bail. He is standing trial in September of next year. So he still has a whole year to just kind of, you know, do whatever he wants to do, be a free man. Meanwhile, it was very ugly when when it first all kind of went down. People realized that, my gosh, maybe there's nothing over there at Celsius. Maybe all of that is just numbers on a screen and maybe there's no crypto left on Celsius because don't forget a lot of this was like a domino effect from the depegging of the Terra Luna stablecoin. Then we had Three Arrows Capital go bankrupt, and it was just like a domino effect. One after another was going down, down, down. And we found out that Celsius had made some very degenerate loans to people like Three Arrows Capital. They took out a significant loan, and really it was not completely uncollateralized, but not very much collateralized, like practically a handshake loan. And they walked off with, I think it was like 150 million. It might have even been 300 million to Three Arrows Capital. So once something like that happened, it was just, you know, a slippery slope from there. So let's get to what they're saying. Oh, okay. My mouse just went crazy. Hold on. Bankrupt digital asset lender Celsius plans to repay $2 billion in crypto to creditors before end of 2023. And that's my cat who is just absolutely obnoxious and there's nothing I can do to get him to stop. Welcome to my life. Pawnee, stop. 
In a recent U.S. bankruptcy court filing, Celsius has presented a restructuring plan that will generate funds for a new corporate spinoff dubbed NUCO and repay customers. Notably, the plan provides for a distribution of at least $2.03 billion of cryptocurrency to creditors subject to fluctuations in the cryptocurrency market. Of course, because the, the cryptocurrency, the value of that goes up and down. It's not like these are fiat dollars, right? On or as soon as reasonable, reasonably practical after the effective date of the plan under, the, under either the NUCO transaction or orderly wind down. According to the plan, the NUCO would be owned by customers but managed by a collection of companies under the name Fahrenheit LLC. How they did that little playoff on Celsius, which will focus on Bitcoin mining and staking. The intention is to also list Nuco, Nuco as a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. Nuco would receive $450 million in crypto for seed funding, and Fahrenheit has committed $50 million toward the firm for an equity stake, the filing says. Celsius first filed for bankruptcy in July of 2022 after its native asset plummeted by over 99% and it was unable to fulfill customer withdrawals. An account on the social media platform X that is managed by Celsius creditors says its followers, I'm sorry, tells its followers, my glasses are, are not that great, I lost my new ones, that if the plan is approved, customers could start receiving lost funds before the end of the year. Celsius anticipates it could begin repaying customers before the end of 2023. Both NUCO and OWD options were part of the plan. Most classes ended up voting in favor of the plan. And of course they did, right? Like Pete Bull just want to put this chapter behind them. They just want to get their cryptocurrency or as much of their cryptocurrency back as they possibly can and just move on. They want to be able to make investments elsewhere. And I think that this whole Celsius thing should be a cautionary tale for all of us. If something just sounds way too good to be true, chances are it probably is. Or if you do want to dip your toe into a venture like Celsius again, just know, don't put all your cryptocurrency onto there. Just but make it just this tiny little portion because if something goes sideways with that, you don't want to be stuck waiting a few years to recover a portion of your cryptocurrency. And just think how much of that cryptocurrency and those assets were actually gobbled up by attorney's fees. I'm sure a a big portion of that. So just, you know, please be careful. I know the the new bull market is upon us and people are making plans for what they're going to do when it does happen. So just just please be careful. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I very much do appreciate you. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would so greatly appreciate it if you would. Or if if you don't want to subscribe to my channel, if you could at least hit the like, that would like really help me in the algorithm. And I really need to get my algorithm numbers up because YouTube is threatening to demonetize your girl's channel because I didn't make videos for a very long time. So I, I've got to got to do something. And I would greatly appreciate if you could help me out. And by the way, I am doing a live stream this coming Friday. It's going to be an AMA with the developer of a new token that's going to be launching Patata Token. And, uh, you know, a lot of people always ask me, what particular cryptocurrencies do you think are going to be the big cryptocurrencies in the up and coming bull market? And my answer is, you know, those tokens haven't even launched yet. Those new ones are just going to come, you know, busting out of the gates. They're going to be some of the biggest winners, especially in meme coin territory. They're not launched yet. So keep your eye out for new opportunities. But when it comes to meme coins, you know, there's a, a strategy that you really need to employ. And it's get in early and get the heck out when you have profits. If you want to leave a moon bag, that's completely up to you. But as soon as you're realizing some good profits, you need to know when to take your profits and when to get out. You need to be smart. So we are going to have that developer on Friday. Uh, also, I am going to do the giveaway for the one video that I had done saying if you responded thug life in the comment section, that you would have an opportunity to win one tenth of an ETH. And I think ETH is like 1700 right now. So it's like 170 bucks. So that is your opportunity. You have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to watch the video full in full. And you have to comment Thug Life in the comment section. And if you watch the video, 
you're going to find out why. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for watching the channel. And until next time, remember, try to only buy on red candles and please take care of yourself.